In this video, I'm going to show you how to create all possible combinations from two pair of data set. Simply type equal, select the first data range, type end percent, quotation mark, pipe symbol, quotation mark again, end percent, and now simply write transpose function, double click, select the second range, close parenthesis, hit enter. Again, click on ectocell formula and after equal sign, simply type to column function, open parenthesis and simply close parenthesis, hit enter. Now we need to split this data set. So for this, first we need to convert all of the range into a one single cell. I will simply type text join, open parenthesis. What is the delimiter? Simply type quotation mark comma quotation mark and comma again for the ignore parameter simply type true hit comma and what is text one this whole array is our text one simply close parenthesis hit enter and now we need to split the single cell result into multiple rows and column after equal sign simply type text split open parenthesis what is the text this whole array result is our text. Hit comma on the very end. For the column delimiter, I will type pipe symbol. Hit comma. And for the row delimiter, I will simply type comma. Close parenthesis, hit enter. And this is how we can create all possible combination for two pair of data set. Now this formula is better if you have a smaller data set. If you have a larger data set, then I will show you another formula. Click on I4, simply type equal, again select the first data range, end percent, quotation mark, pipe symbol, quotation mark again, end percent, transpose, open parenthesis, select the second data range, close parenthesis, hit enter, and this will return the same result. The next thing we need to apply to column function, open parenthesis and simply close parenthesis, hit enter. Now we need to apply reduce function to split this text. Click on ectocell formula, simply type reduce function after equal sign, open parenthesis. For the initial value, I will simply define null, hit comma. For the array, this whole formula result, hit comma, and now I will define lambda. For the sake of understanding, I will increase the formula bar width. Simply type alt enter, lambda, open parenthesis. For the initial value, I will define A. For the array, I will simply define B. You can define any name, hit comma. And now we need to define vState function. Open parenthesis. What is the initial value? In this case, I will simply define A. And for the array 2, I will define B. And actually, B is our two column function result. So, formula will loop through each row by row and split the text. So, I will simply write text split. Open parenthesis. And I will simply define B. In this case, B is my whole array result. And the formula will loop through each row by row and split the text hit comma and for the column delimiter i will again define pipe symbol quotation mark again and now simply close parenthesis for text split again close parenthesis for v stay close parenthesis for lambda and close parenthesis for reduce function and simply hit enter now this formula will return the same result but only thing we have a null value on the first row so we can simply apply drop function Simply write after equal sign TROP, open parenthesis, what is the array? This whole formula result is my array, hit comma, and how many rows you want to drop? Simply type one, close parenthesis, hit enter. And this is how we generate all possible combination with these two formula. Of course, if you have a longer data set, use the second formula. If you have a shorter data set, use the first formula. I hope you like this video. Please subscribe my channel for more video. Thank you so much.